again. It's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida, Expression Art Studio Gallery. And I have made several paintings, at least one of which did not record. And I've got a pan full of colors that's turning to glop pretty quickly. And a pre-painted 12 by 24 inch canvas. It's got mead and black on it. And I am going to try and get some Tuscan Sun to get in there. That's a primary, that's not a primary element. This is a primary element. That was a prison pour. This is called Passion. And I'm just going to be willy-nilly about trying to freshen these colors up. This is called Taffeta. Kind of figuring that if I use all the beautiful colors that I love, this is Cerulean Blue, that I'll have a shot at saving this. This is the Mayan Gold. I'm trying to be random. This is, whoa, that's Cell Activator. <laughs> well, that might be interesting. This is Deep Amethyst. I didn't use any blue velvet. I want a turquoise color and I have some, but first I'm gonna put some orange crush in there. Well, I will if, it, if it'll be amicable. There we go. I've got some pink diamond. Pink carnation. And some orange crush with a little bit of big apple in it. And I'm gonna try and get most of my colors out of my way. There's my Aussie flow trolley. I'm not sure I'm gonna be using that right now. So best to move those. And the Tuscan sun can leave. I've got some Twilight Orchid. Excuse me, this is Violet Rose. Almost time to make some more of that. I did say I wanted some turquoise, and one of my favorite colors is Chrysocolla. It's just beautiful. And I think I want to add some Chantilly Lace. Hope for the best. Cross your fingers. Oh, you know what? There's no Fandango in there. Maybe there is. Let's put some Neptune's gaze in there anyway. I think that's good. Now I'm just going to try and give it my best shot with a shovel. Move a few things out of my way. From my previous painting endeavors, I'm going to I want some black in there. I'm putting some some mead and black in there. Just a sprinkling. Mead and black will also help make cells sometimes. Yep, we got glop. But it's better to use glop, in my opinion, than to not. And there's every chance in the world that we may be able to salvage some paint. That's pretty cool. convinced myself before I started this I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing because I'm really off of really out of range um, that I was going to tip this but being that it's so gloppy I'm probably not I am definitely going to have to become creative with what I get maybe just grab Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula and help some of the colors right out of the container, out of the shovel. It might work. Something might come of it. 
There certainly is enough. Dragon kites on a windy day. <laughs> One more shovel full and we're done. It's pretty cool. I like the negative space. I'm not sure what I should, how irreverent I should be about this. There we go. It is what it is. I got one more little tiny bunch of dribbles and then I gotta pop some bubbles. I think this right here. Come on. Some very slow moving paint at this point. Let's see what I can find for weird little spots. And some funky, funky colors now at this point. That's got to go someplace very special. Or right where it landed. <laughs> okay, time to pop some bubbles, which are evidently everywhere. Oh, that's not a bubble. That's a thing. That's a bubble. Or a thing. And a bubble. Those are all bubbles. I wonder if I should add some dots in this. I wonder if I can find out what colors were in this just because it's been a few paintings and the one that I think I put the colors that I mentioned the names of the colors in is the one that didn't record. More bubbles. I'm thinking, ah, more bubbles. There's gonna be some that I'm not gonna catch. But I'm definitely thinking it would be nice to add something else. Like my, my new favorite color, which is a primary element, passion. Which I'll evidently be making a whole lot more of soon. Cool. All right, it is what it is. It's fodder for bubble popping. Done it quick. It might not burn the heck out of everything. So this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Always happy to use up my leftovers, even when they're gloppy. And pushing my little dollops of paint. When they're blobby, I like to finish the mark just because it looks more like it's actually dimensionally traveling behind. And it does, I think, anyway. Plus, if you find a nice big ball of paint, you can steal a little bit of it. I do need a different skewer or a palette knife or something.
Maybe not a pala knife. Maybe just some more paint. Yeah, the pallet knife's dangerous. Alright, that's pretty cool. I think that's kind of fun. Fun is good. Let me shimmer that at you, in case I can. I'm sure it's still shimmery. Shimmery and spinnable. And Poppable too, because I can still see that there are some bubbles in there. Which is basically what happens every time I shine the light on them. It still makes me think of kites. Kites with tails. Yeah. I think it could use some dots. <laughs> Pull that over here. I think there's something shinier. I found a safe tool. Alright, I love you guys. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much for stopping. I have over 2,500 videos. Should you happen to like to find some, Go to my channel and look for all playlists, created playlists. And uh, if you can't find them, just ask, because I've got them t organized and ready to share a link with you. I'm going to say goodbye for now and check my link tree. Ooh, that's nice from up here. Maybe just a portion of this is perfect. That's kind of cool. Glop. <laughs> Saved. All right. I'm going to move that back in position now. Tell you guys I love you. Hope you come again. I post seven days a week. There's some really beautiful... Oh. Wow. The Chantilly lace is fantastic on one end. All right. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Art Studio Gallery saying thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for shopping my links. Thank you for um, asking about lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I do sell my artwork and when you buy it, you make my year. <laughs> Thank you guys for the wonderful comments that keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate that. Thank you for shopping my Amazon link at no added cost to you and you can find my two books there because I can and unlimited possibilities. And uh, underneath the video you can find spring clothing and on the Amazon, excuse me, on the link tree you can find Pixels.com, Fire Nerd America, Pinterest and Instagram as well as Society6 and the gallery's clothing. Any place that I have clothing posted and you want to see something you can't find there, just let me know because I will do my best to add it there. Especially Fine Art America and Pixels.com. Those are the easiest ones. Okay, so that's it for me for now. I'll see you guys in on. I post seven days a week at noon Eastern Standard Time. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I've just done four paintings in a row. <laughs> so I'm winded. It's time for a break. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I love you guys. See you in on.